Assalamualaikum, Tatcha How. We are going to start this topic of Chapter 6, Electricity and Magnetism, which is a continuation of the same topic in Form 2. Electricity is generated through various energy sources. These different energy sources can be classified into two main groups. The first one is the renewable energy sources. Energy sources that can be replaced continually and will never deplete. The second type is the non-renewable energy sources. Energy sources that cannot be replaced and will deplete one day. Have you ever wondered how the electricity is generated? The electricity is generated by a generator. Look at this example of a generator model. Can you please find for me two main components that generate current in this generator model? Yes, according to Michael Faraday, there are two main steps that can generate electricity in this case. First, by moving the wire or moving the magnet. Both actions will definitely cut the magnetic field lines and finally produce an induced current as we expected. There are different types of power stations that can be used to generate electricity. For example, the power station using solar energy, the solar panel, focus or collect sunlight in such a manner as to generate steam to feed a turbine and generate electricity. So we can simplify the conversion of energy like this. Solar energy turns into the electrical energy. For your information, the large fields of sun tracking mirrors that tend to be aligned in a north-south orientation to maximize the sunlight capture. Second, the power station which using the wind energy. The wind turbines work on a simple principle. Instead of using electricity to make wind like a fan, wind turbines use wind to make electricity. So, kinetic energy is converted to the electrical energy. Wind turns the propeller like blades of a turbine around a rotor which spins a generator which then creates electricity. Next is the hydroelectric power station which capture the energy of falling water to generate electricity. A turbine converts the kinetic energy of falling water into mechanical energy. Then a generator converts the mechanical energy from the turbine into the electrical energy which can be simplified like this. Gravitational potential energy turns to kinetic energy and finally turns to the electrical energy. The last method of generating electricity is through the thermal power station. There are two ways of generating electricity through this method. First, by using the renewable source of energy such as biomass or by using the non-renewable energy sources such as fuel and nuclear fuel. A fossil fuel power station which burns a fossil fuel such as coal or natural gas to produce electricity. Meanwhile, by generating power through the use of biomass represents the cost effective and cleanest way to provide the renewable electricity in the future. This type of thermal power station have machinery to convert the heat energy of combustion into mechanical or kinetic energy which then operates an electrical generator which can be simplified like this. The chemical energy turns to heat energy, then turns to kinetic energy and finally converted into the electrical energy. There are two types of electric current, direct current DC and alternating current AC. In direct current DC, the electric charge current only flows in one direction. Everything that runs off a battery 
plugs into the wall with an AC adapter or uses a USB cable for power relies on DC. Very large electric motors such as those which power subway trains generally work much better on DC electricity such as the portable generator, battery, solar cells, and accumulator. Electric charge in alternating current AC, on the other hand changes direction periodically. Most common electrical appliances such as hair dryer, air conditioner, light bulbs, and electric heating elements work fine on AC electrical power. Small electric motors such as those which power food mixers and vacuum cleaners work very well on AC electricity as well as the dynamo and the portable generator. For power stations, majority of them produce AC except the generation of electricity from solar energy that produces DC. Cathode ray oscilloscope or CRO is used in hospitals to look at the heartbeat of brain waves as computer monitors, radar screens and is also the basis of the television receiver. The CRO is actually a type of electrical instrument which is used for showing the measurement and analysis of waveforms and other electronic and electrical phenomena. CRO can be used to distinguish DC and AC by just looking at the trace displayed on the screen when the time base is switched on and off for both DC and AC respectively. For DC, when the time base is switched off, the magnitude of the displacement of the light spot is from the zero position, which means that the voltage of the battery is fixed and of the same value. Meanwhile, when the time base is switched on for DC, the displacement of the light spot from the zero position is positive, which means that the current flows from positive to negative in a straight line and in one direction. For the alternating current, when the time base of the CRO is switched off, the light spot on the screen moves up and down to produce a vertical trace on the screen. This shows that the voltage produced by the power supply keeps changing. When the time base is switched on, the shape of graph on the display screen produced by the vertical and horizontal trace made by a light spot shows continuous change in the direction of current flow and the voltage of the AC.